My name is Jay Shripile and my friends call me Jesh. Born in Singapore. My parents are Singaporeans, my grandparents are Singaporeans. I've been living in Melbourne, Australia for one year now. I'm studying my double masters at La Trobe University, the Bandura campus. I'm doing my masters in professional accounting and masters in financial analysis. I've heard people say that um, Australians have a very relaxed lifestyle and that was what I was looking forward to. Apart from uni, I actually like to take photos. It takes my mind off a lot of things. So I would actually take long walks um, at my uni's wildlife sanctuary. And if I'm lucky on good days, I get to spot the animals there. So we went one, right? One, two, three. Come up, strike. I enjoy doing karate, which I just took up recently, and that gives me um, a lot of space to actually vent out my frustrations. Compared to how I was a year back, I would say that I've learned to be more sensitive, more tolerant, more giving. Oh, I've learned cooking as well, <laughs> very important. I've learned to be, I would say, even more confident, so coming here has pushed me out of my comfort zone, and I'm glad I did it. Hi guys! How are you going? I'm good. I'm Jesh. Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Chris, welcome to the Philippon Grand Prix circuit. Hi, Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And, um, have you done this before? Been go karting? No, I have never done this before. I've not driven a car even. So, is it tough? It's not so bad. You can start off at a slower pace and build up to what you think is not comfortable. Kayla's okay. A little bit inexperienced, so she's in the same. So, right, we'll be good. Position. Okay. <laughs> I've not driven before. I don't I don't have a driving license, so I don't know what to look forward to. I don't know whether I'm going to crash on the track or what, but yeah, excited at the same time. So let's see how it goes. So Kayla, are you going to come race with me today? Oh, have some fun. <laughs> okay, we'll go. We'll see how it goes. I've got a bit of coordination problem. I got an issue with the right and left. When I am faced with an issue, the first thing my mind does is, oh God, panic attack. And then the next second is, how am I going to solve this? Uh, well, it's going to be the same today. Um, when I look at that go-kart, I'm like, how am I going to operate this? Where's the handle? Where's the brake? Where's the, you know, where's the go thing? Go pedal. Um, so my mind goes into solving it. Um, and at the same time, I've got to keep myself calm. And I, I guess, I don't know how that's going to put in play today, but we'll see how it goes. Get your visor down at all time. Leave a small gap in the bottom so you don't fog up. Okay. Okay. And just make sure you take it easy on those first couple laps. Get used to the cart and the track. Okay. And start off at a slower pace and then work your way up. Okay. All right. Let's go. license at 18 years old. I drive a manual so it's a bit tricky for me to go on the go-karts. Living in the country I was able to drive around in a paddock bomb or in a car in the paddock and have a spin around there and practice out there. <laughs> Crashed! Before my first lap. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I was right into three quarter of the first lap 
and I crashed. Like I was doing the turns. Um, Kayla was actually picking up speed, so she just went past me and um, me being competitive, I just wanted to catch up with her and I stepped on the accelerator pedal and it picked up speed and the next thing I knew I just crashed into the tyres. Um, thank God for the safety briefing that I had earlier, I knew I just had to wait and not panic, so I just sat there and waited for Chris to come up and push the go-kart back into the track. But it was a good, it was a good experience, I'm glad I crashed so I know how it feels like to crash. So yeah, I'm a very competitive person. I would want to excel in what I do at. So it was very natural when I was racing with Kyla. And she kept going past me. I kept wanting to go ahead, but at the same time I was a bit nervous because the, the speed was picking up and I was, am I going to crash again? Jayesh did really well for someone who hasn't driven before and wasn't as confident as when very nervous as she thought she would be. I think she did amazing. She did really good. I'm very proud of her. Thank you for Congratulations. that. Congratulations. Thank job. you. <laughs> now that I had my first um, go kart experience, sort of like a driving uh, experience, I would love to go ahead and take my driving license because before this, I always was very apprehensive. I was thinking, should I take my license? Would I be all right on the road? But it's not too bad. <laughs> if given a chance again, I would definitely have a go at go-karting all over again. And um, I would like to thank my Australia series for giving me this opportunity, for giving me this great opportunity to actually get over my fear, have that great go at go-karting and take back this wonderful experience back home. Thank you. Right, woo! Ha <laughs> ha!